if there was a company that did historical tours via time travel. What trips would be in high demand? I'm feeling Pompeii would be popular, so you could see the before and after effects via time travel. If you are feeling exceptionally adventurous, you could turn the site into a minigame to see how many of your tourists could survive the volcanic eruption on their own. If they die, use time travel and save them, saying that they didn't make it. If they survive, give them a pat on the back and then go on your way to see the Titanic next. That's an even more messed up and expensive escape room. It'll be huge. Going back to the Trojan War. I wanna see if Helen was as hot as they say she is. I always wondered how high those standards were. I always wonder how hot historically super hot people were in general. Don't people get taller and better looking every generation? Because technically we're getting further away from cavemen so like, was Cleopatra just a really crude looking short lady? Also Mona Lisa isn't hot, and wasn't she super hot for the day? I'm explaining this like a 14 year old boy sorry. It's impossible to know, because we are conditioned for different beauty, hotness standards than the past. I'm not sure Greeks and Romans would find the same women we classify as hot hot. Big demand would be for short term time travel like visiting past loved ones, or playing with your toddler kids again. Italy around 1500, Leonardo da Vinci, Raphael, and Michelangelo all working, frequently in the same cities, mostly either Florence for the Medici, or in Rome for the Pope. I also would like to meet the Ninja Turtles. A trip to Stephen Hawking's time traveler's party. Nice party wheelchair boy. Well I gotta go. Got a meeting with Ramses the Great in 20. Bye. World Water seems popular as a lot of people want to try to stop Hitler. Probably momentous times in human history. Imagine if you were on the Titanic and someone said I'll be gone tomorrow. This bitch is gonna hit an iceberg the next day. It's gonna duck you up, even if you don't believe in time travelers. Do you want command and conquer red alert? Because this is how you get command and conquer red alert. More specifically, do you want command and conquer? Period. To be re dawn and its following events only happen in a universe where the Soviets won the red alert conflict. Pre-eruption Pompeii. Wonder which redditor to remember got left behind as that masturbating guy. Dude's a legend. He saw the world ending around him and just said duck it. Guess I'll rub one out real quick. Maybe he searched all his life for his kink only to find it was erupting volcanoes that got his rocks off. That's one thick looking boulder. The lost colony of Roanoke. I'm gonna write Crotone on a tree to duck with people. Walking with dinosaurs. Don't step off the path. Just ducking imagine what the Titanic would be like. A huge line of people queuing up to do the Titanic pose at the front of the ship. And then all the contemporary people asking WTF is going on. So basically that Rick and Morty episode. Woodstock would probably be a big hit again. Actually, only a thousand people also were the original attendees. Those other thousands were just time travelers. Time travelers in their own minds anyway. A trip to the Roman Empire. We'd be able to meet historical figures such as Augustus, Caesar, Brutus and Bigus Dicus. He has a wife you know. Incontinentia. Incontinentia buttocks. This reminds me of a short story I read long ago on this topic. Wikipedia link has a plot synopsis of it. It's definitely worth a read. In the year 2055, time travel has become a practical reality, and the company Time Safari Incorporated offers wealthy adventurers the chance to travel back in time to hunt extinct species such as dinosaurs. A hunter named Eccles pays 10,000 to join a hunting party that will travel back 66 million years to the late Cretaceous period, on a guided safari, to kill a Tyrannosaurus Rex. As the party waits to depart, 
they discuss the recent presidential elections in which an apparently fascist candidate, Ducha, has been defeated by his opponent Keith. To the relief of many concerned, when the party arrives in the past, Travis the hunting guide and Lesper and Travis's assistant warn Eccles and the two other hunters, Billings and Kramer, about the necessity of minimizing the events they change before they go back, since even the smallest alterations to the distant past could snowball into catastrophic changes in history. Travis explains that the hunters are obliged to stay on a levitating path to avoid disrupting the environment, that any deviation will be punished with hefty fines, and that prior to the hunt, time, safari scouts had been sent back to select and tag their prey, which would have died within minutes anyway, and whose death has been calculated to have minimal effect on the future. Although Eccles is initially excited about the hunt, when the monstrous Tyrannosaurus approaches, he loses his nerve. Travis tells him to go back to the time machine, but Eccles panics, steps off the path, and stumbles into the forest. Eccles hears shots, and on his return, he sees that the two guides have killed the dinosaur, and shortly afterward the falling tree that would have killed Thet, Rex has landed on top of it, realizing that Eccles has fallen off the path. Travis threatens to leave him in the past, unless he removes the bullets from the dinosaur's body, as they cannot be left behind. Eccles obeys, but Travis remains furious, threatening on the return trip to shoot him. Upon returning to 2055, Eccles notices subtle changes English words are now spelled and spoken strangely. People behave differently, and Eccles discovers that Ducha has won the election instead of Keith. Looking at the mud on his boots, Eccles finds a crushed butterfly, whose death has apparently caused a rift in the timeline that has affected the nature of the alternative present to which the safari has returned. He frantically pleads with Travis to take him back into the past to undo the damage, but Travis had previously explained that the time machine cannot return to any point in time that it has already visited so as to prevent any paradoxes. Travis raises his gun, and there is a sound of thunder. This must be a sound of thunder by Ray Bradbury. He was a fantastic short story writer. Plot twists abound. First short story my dad had me read as a kid that wasn't juvenile. Fell in love with Sifi. Read all of Asimov. Most of Anthony. Bradbury. Card. Clark. Herbert. Etc. Just picked up a copy of the illustrated man the other day at off a bargain rack. Bradbury definitely is in my top 10 list of unsung heroes when it comes to influencing our culture and perceptions of ourselves in the grand scheme of things. I'd like to go back and hear Beethoven play. The people who know him today are most aware of his compositions and he was a brilliant composer but by some historical accounts he was a far better player. When he first arrived in Vienna, his reputation preceded him, and the musicians of the day set out to challenge him to a contest to test his skills. One of them said we mean to hew him to pieces. Afterwards, the same person said oh, that man has a devil. He improvised airs on a theme I gave him as I have never heard even Mozart play. Mozart himself allegedly said keep your eye on that fellow. One day he'll give the world something to talk about. Seeing him play live versus watching his works would be like the difference between seeing Hendrix play guitar versus seeing an orchestra play his compositions. All those amazing performances are lost to time. I'd like to see one. Edited to fix spelling mistake and thank mysterious stranger for gold. Mosh pit at the Beethoven concert. Alright pusses I wanna see a mother ducking circle pit this next song's called FRLIs. Watching the pyramids get built. Seeing how vikings lived and fought. Learning more about the Mayans. As Teches and Native American tribes pre-colonization. A time travel journey truly would be a dream come true. Jesus' birth. It would be so high demand that all the hotels in the area would be full. Wait, you might be onto something here. The new star was nothing but the time ship loading and unloading passengers. 
Suddenly those ancient paintings depicting spaceships in the sky seem to make sense. I imagine lots of Anglophiles would want to visit Victorian England and then hate it after 5 minutes. Edited makes me very happy that my top comment of all time has many comments about poop and syphilis. Warms my heart. I could see a bowl being fun. But for the most part everything pre-1950 is going to be gross physically and otherwise for most people. Did people wipe their asses? I read accounts of Clevelanders traveling to Europe on business trips in the early 1900s, and they would take TP with them, because it wasn't as common across the pond. Cleveland was also the fifth largest US city at the time. Demand would rise and fall with movies and TV series and there would likely be much more historical based series. I think many of the big battles via history would be popular. There's also a period of unknown in our history. I can see people going back and studying lost civilizations too. Edit wow that's my inbox blown up. Today was a really crappy day for me. Just in a low place. So it was a great surprise to read all the comments here. Thank you. I'd want to see how civilizations from Mesopotamia looked like at their peaks. Assyria. Babylon. It all fascinates me, and there's so much still left to mystery there. Seeing the hanging gardens of Babylon or the Colossus of Rhodes. Childhood. Why would I want to go to Roman times? Or ancient Egypt, where I can't speak the language and I'm carrying viruses that will kill everyone. I want to go back to when I was 5 or 6. I want to walk down my old street. I want to bump into my parents as they walk down that street, maybe with me in the pram. Pat myself of the head and tell my parents he's a cute one. I want to roam around for a day as an adult and experience that time in a way I couldn't as a child. I want to spend a day in the familiarity of my childhood through my eyes now and see what it looks like. To recharge the memory as little by little I lose more and more. My 4 year daughter asked me last night, what was your favorite toy when you were a kid? Your comment hits home for me as I honestly don't remember much of my childhood. Excuse me whilst I head to Roswell, New Mexico. I have a weather balloon I want to see. Edit. I'm at home with a really bad cold and I fell asleep for an hour and this blew up. Some of the comments have given me a really good laugh whilst I cough myself to death and consider going from lemzip to lemzip maximum strength. Plot twist. You are the weather balloon. And your own grandpa. The German tour. A tour through the history of the region. Start with Germanic tribes. Move through the Holy Roman Empire. Past the creation of modern Germany. And culminating with kicking Hitler in the nuts. Beatles concerts. That's why there's so little high quality footage. My pop was at the Brisbane Beatles concert. Said you couldn't hear shit because of the girls constant screaming. Said he had to tell multiple girls to just shut the duck up with the screaming. With our current obsession with serial killers. Who knows. Ringside seats to Jack the Ripper. Bundy. The Zodiac Killer. Etc. Zodiac Killer. Ted Cruz is still slaying in the Senate. Surprised no one has said the Wild West. The life of Moses. Jesus and Muhammad alone would make that company a trillionaire. Personally, I'd like to witness the marriage at Canaan. It's the one example in the Bible of a miracle Jesus performed as purely a party trick. Studio 54 in its heyday. Beatles at the Cavern Club. Historically I'd love to hear Einstein's first lecture on general relativity or maybe daytime square. All eras would be extremely popular at first, until these rich tourists realized how unsanitary life was prior to the 1930s in developed countries. After that the 1960s will be popular. A Queen Concert. I don't know about others, but I'm from Finland. So I would like to know what on earth my ancestors were up to before we got taken over by the Swedish Kingdom. There's little written history about these places from that time. Just urban legends from the Swedes 
that we were scary people that practiced witchcraft, probably because of pagan shamanism in the woods, spoke a very strange alien sounding language, and were quick to fight. I'd like to know how we survived in such cold climates living out in the wild, and what kind of shenanigans we got up to. Our folklore that survived from that era is strange as heck. We weren't as keen to accept standard civilization as our Scandinavian neighbors. So we stayed in our more natural barbaric tribes for a bit longer. The theatrical release of every Shrek movie. Nice try Ubisoft. I couldn't get Hamilton tickets. Suo. So, oh. I can imagine how that would turn out. It was nothing like in the Bible. Jesus was no Christ at all. But a Jew. And he ruined it all with socialist propaganda. He should let Jesus in his heart. I'm praying for him. Would not recommend. There was no Wi-Fi and the lifeboats were completely crowded. I liked the movie more. Expected World War 1 to be black and white, but it turned out to be in full color. Not what I booked. I'd say the Library of Alexandria. Being able to go back and study all of known history before it was destroyed would be very popular with historians. One the crucifixion of Christ, if it actually happened. To the moon landing. Three the building of the pyramids and Stonehenge. Four to observe one of the Jack the Ripper murders at least for a few true crime fans. Five the assassinations of Caesar and JFK. Six group packages to see a Shakespeare play at the globe. I can think of a bunch more. But honestly they are making me sad. Prehistoric tours or World War II tours. People would be interested to see the war with their own eyes. Or see the dinosaurs. Edit thank you guys for 200 plus upvotes. I made this comment out of ideas and I would have not imagined so many upvotes. Thanks. The Great Molasses Flood in Boston 1919. Would be quite the sight to behold. Link. One travel to the USSR during the time of Stalin. I think. A lot of people will want to know the truth about the repression. Two sea crews on Bismarck. Special for Sabaton fans. Three a fascinating tour of France 1789-1799. Ideal for fans of Assassin's Creed Unity. For the play The Battle of Karen Sebs. Fun. Fights and drunken Austrians. What could be better? Jesus would be in the most high demand I'd wager. Half the people would just want to see whether he actually existed. Visiting Notre Dame. Even if it does get fully restored to how it was before the fire, it's still historically changed a lot over the centuries since it was built. The coronavirus outbreak of 2020 was particularly interesting. It's hard to believe it half the world's population in only two years. If only they had seen the geese pattern earlier. Rome gladiators fighting in the Colosseum. World Trade Center. September 10th. 2001. I was there on 9-01-2001. Insanely tall. But typical of skyscraping office towers. Occupied by a huge number of typical people. I bought a sock monkey at a toy store, and had lunch in a deli in the underground mall. The deli was packed, and six office workers made room for my drink at plate on the four top they were sharing. People all over Manhattan were nice to me as I rambled the city, while my husband worked, 